So it looks like we're getting some rivets in. Getting a lot of Clico fasteners in to temporarily hold the panels in place and noticing some unfortunate gaps that if we rivet to the Peace. scoop as we'd want to, then we end up with a gap on the back side. And what we really want to do is prevent this from flexing. The best way to do that is going to be to rivet straight the inside the frame, and be a... like that. Now there's not going to be any flex. Yeah. But then we end up with a gap. So unless we find another solution, it seems to me that we should rivet this here as planned. And when we remove the scoop piece, bend these outside edges out yep. so slightly yeah. all the way up at a diagonal. Bend this section out. Yeah. Probably flatten it and then draw draw the angle with a marker like this. Mm -hmm. So now looking at the CAD drawing, it looks like those triangle pieces might go on the inside of these flaps. But it still looks a little wonky when we do it. Well, still too much too much give on the sides when you do that. As opposed to fastening it to the frame itself. We'll, we'll still fasten it to the frame, you just fold it out, I think. Well, I think. I mean this is, we'd have to re we have to remove this and recrease this whole piece. Because this doesn't have that much bend in it. So here's going to the this is going to the outside. Which leaves this gap. It looks like they want you to go inside. Of course the notch then doesn't line up with the frame as well. And you also end up with But we're assuming it's an accurate CAD drawing. You also end up with a whole lot of gap back here. Yeah, and so you're going to end up with this much flex, unless we also rivet it like this, and just have a bend. Yeah. Like rivet here. Be hard to get them even, especially if that notch isn't right, or if you're not dead nuts on that lineup. Because you can't get a notch. Yeah. We could get that even. There'd be no really point for that it. notch either if... No, the notch makes it look like it should sit like this. Okay. Doesn't it? I mean, that's where the notch is, but that... This hole lining this up along the tube here. I imagine air though would like it the other way. Well, once you silicone and rivet this, there's not going to be any way for air to get through. You know what? It'll make for a prettier transition. All right. So, looking at this Instagram account where another guy built one, he clearly ran it on the inside. You can kind of see the rivets down right through here, and like we were talking about, it kind of bows in on the inside so that's what we're gonna end up doing yeah but there's no bracket you can put there you want to hit the forum and ask people what they did they probably just left it and oh, let it flex rattle around. Really? or put a strap mm -hmm. the foam he's talking about really comes in handy for yeah this kind of stuff because it gets rid of the NVH. it's uh um, similar to what i used on either side of the you old intercooler use, you could use dynamat there dynamat you can but you know that super dense 3M foam? That's what we'll want to run. Yeah. And it's heat resistant. We can run that between this and here. That'll take How up hot all this. Radiator? Pretty hot. Pretty hot. I mean, you think about the your temperatures are going to get 210. So what's the radiator going to get? 300 at, at most? And Dynamat's good. Well, it'd be, it would be less than that. So if your fluid's 210, call it high hundreds, 200. And that's not along probably the top contact surface. No. But like right It'll be here, internal. We foam this corner all the way mm -hmm. around, and we would want to do the same along the bottom. Is it a wrap or is it actually like an, it's just a foam? In? No, it's uh, like sheets of foam. Yeah, you can cut strips of it. So we would cut like one big strip here. Mm -hmm. If you wanted two, we could actually cut two and silicone one, like glue them together to take out this because that is crappy. I did a ton of thin repair on my H1. Because they could smash. I definitely don't want that side smashed because it's visible. And so then, obviously, right, the we'll mount. These to you, this to you. We'll make this a three-man gig. We can do that when this is back off. So let's do. Let's find where these are going to permanently go. So now we're measuring for the radiator right, so mount. It's roughly, it's right at two centimeters, I would say, right at it. And this one's like pretty close to two and a half. This is five millimeters higher. 
Yeah, but we couldn't come any lower on this side, I don't think. It. So it's fine. Jesus. Is, is that Randy? Probably. It's not fair. Just marking off for rivet holes. So we can drill from the back. Yep. All right, so getting ready to pre-drill these rivet holes. Looks like they'll space nicely. First one there, last one right about where we want to stop. Yeah, that's really nice. Keep going. Keep, Keep going. going. Keep going. You got it. Keep going. There you go. There you go. Now slow back her out. We'll go to the next one. Hang on. Slowly come down. Don't go all the way. Yep. Just make sure Start that it matches up. up. Yep. Now pull it out. This one? Yeah, little man. For this one? Yep. Yep. Push it all the way up. There you go. Nice and tight. Next one. Let's get this hole. Move up our drill bit over there. You're up. What are we trying to do here? Drill into this. You know the only other way to do it, man? Hmm? Do all these, Cleco it together, mm -hmm. take all these out, take them nah. off, and then Cleco that, or then drill so that just, one hole. You're just trying to get this one? That one. Well, that one can't eat, oh. I can't get the right angle drill, can't even get to that. That's what I'm saying, may have to take these out off. And if I get the rest of these, it'll hold this exactly in place and then pop that one with it off the car. That's a pain in the butt, but I don't know another way to do it. Yeah, that's kind of tight. And if we measure it off and try and get it right from the back, mm -hmm. we have to we have to be pretty exact. Yeah, I wouldn't. Hmm. Let me think about it. Oh, it's moving. Panel's moving. What is the back panel? Yeah, I need this panel flush. I need to clamp it. You got another clamp? What happened to the? Yep, yeah, just that might be in the way. Can you get over it? Okay. Yeah. Thank God we had the Chinese drill. Okay. So it looks like we got most of the riveting done and it's solid. It's not going anywhere. Granted, we still have this bowed in gap, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be an issue. And if anything, it kind of creates a nice <coughs> curve and the frame's not curved. Yep. So by the time we do final assembly with some silicone, some stainless rivets, uh, and get it all powder coated black, it'll look killer. Black, yeah, black with uh, stainless rivets again. So it'll look really nice. All right, I think that about wraps it up for this one. That's it tonight. So the rest of the car's metal is done in a similar fashion. I just didn't think it'd be worth having hours of film of us putting on metal pieces with Clico fasteners. Um, these upcoming shots are getting the chassis ready for powder coat. We had to build a parachute mount, which you can see on the back. And he also has an air jack suspension put on it where... Um, you can essentially attach air to the back of the car and then four jacks descend and it lifts the car off the ground. So you can um, then put like little metal pieces underneath it and turn them into jack stands. And then um, the reason that he wanted to do that is because the front splitter of the car when you open the hood would end up dragging on the ground otherwise. And this allows us to open the hood without... <laughs> um, getting out like jacks and stuff and I think it's pretty cool too so um, you can see him working on it here in the background and some of the earlier shots with the blue tape wrapped around him so um, with that being said that's about it for episode two the car just went off to powder coat and it came back and there was some suspension stuff and brakes we put on so that episode will be coming out within the next week um, if you want to follow along be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and uh, you guys have a good day